Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about renal calculus. Renal calculus is also known as kidney stone disease, nephrolithiasis or urolithiasis. It is when a solid piece of material that is kidney stone develops in urinary tract. This picture shows a renal calculus. It occurs in 1 in 10 people. Now let us see about the risk factors for renal calculus. Poor fluid intake, inflammatory bowel disease, hypercalcemia, renal tubular acidosis and small bowel bypass surgery are the various risk factors for renal calculus. Now let us see about the types of stones in renal calculus. Calcium stones that is calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate are the most common type of kidney stones. They occur secondary to hypercalciuria which can occur due to increased intestinal absorption of calcium decreased renal reabsorption and increased bone reabsorption of calcium. Calcium oxalate stones are found in patients of inflammatory bowel disease and in bowel bypass surgery. Struvite stones contain magnesium, ammonium and phosphate. They are basically infection stones. They are seen in cases of urinary tract infection with urea splitting bacteria like proteus. They may cause stagon calculi. The urine pH in Struvite stones will be high. Now let us see about uric acid stones. These stones are radiolucent. They are seen in cases of gout, Lesnehan syndrome, chronic diarrhea and cancer. The urine pH in this case will be low. Cysteine stones are the least common type of stones. They occur when there is a genetic predisposition. Now let us see about the symptoms of kidney stone disease. There will be severe pain. Patient cannot sit still. There will be renal colic that is typically pain in kidney or ureter that radiates to testis or penis. There will be hematuria. The classic findings in kidney stone include flank pain, stone on abdominal x-ray and hematuria. Now let us see about the investigations done for a case of renal calculus. X-ray KAB should be done. 90% of stones are radiopaque. Intravenous pyelogram can be done. Urine analysis and culture should be done. Blood urea nitrogen and creatine levels should be measured. Complete blood count should be done. When there is hematuria and pyuria, we have to suspect stone with concomitant infection. Now let us see about the indications for intervention in renal calculus. When there is urinary tract obstruction, persistent infection and impaired renal function, we have to intervene. Urinary tract obstruction occurs in these three places. Ureteropelvic junction, ureterovesicular junction, and intersection of ureter and iliac vessels. Now let us see about the contraindications of outpatient treatment. That is, we have to admit these patients with renal calculus, pregnancy, diabetes, obstruction, severe dehydration, severe pain, urosepsis or fever, pyelonephritis, previous urologic surgery, and only one functioning kidney. Now let us see about the various treatment options available for kidney stones. Narcotics should be given for pain. Vigorous hydration and observation should be done. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy is the treatment of choice. Other treatment options include ureteroscopy, percutaneous lithotripsy and open surgery. We have to do metabolic workup for recurrence. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.